Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going over the report that Caitlyn Jenner has announced that she is running for governor of California saying, quote, I'm all in. And this is very, very interesting from my point of view. So why I find this interesting is because California has been a democratic state, democratic run state for a very long time. And Republicans really don't have too, too much of a shot in this state at winning statewide or presidential races, but I think it's more likely that a statewide race would be possible. And Gavin Newsom is very unpopular right now, and the Republican Party is attempting a recall election, which is very likely to happen. But the question is, will Gavin Newsom actually lose? They did a, a just generic poll that said, if it was held today, how would the people of California vote? 56% of people said they would probably vote for Newsom again, which is good for New Well, it's good and bad. Newsom is good because he has a majority of the vote, but it's also bad because that's saying all 56% who said that will show up to vote, which we'll have to wait and see. Also, when you're an incumbent in a state like California, you probably should be getting more in the 60 and 70% range, not 50% range. But nevertheless, Caitlyn Jenner announcing that she is going to run. This is very, very interesting. California, for Republicans to win in California, it almost seems like you need to be either an athlete or an actor. Ronald Reagan, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and then if Caitlyn Jenner does win, I think the Republicans should just run actors in California, honestly. It'd make a lot more sense. But, um, no, but seriously, all jokes aside, there's no doubt in my mind Caitlyn Jenner is a very formidable opponent. Especially because what I feel like California is a state that whoever is going to win an election, it is basically a popularity contest of who the people know best. Everyone knows Caitlyn Jenner. Everyone knows, in the state of California probably, for better or worse, everyone knows Gavin Newsom. This election is interesting because Republicans are not typically too favorable towards a lot of the transgender movement stuff. However, this is something I never really understood was Caitlyn Jenner's been a Republican like for a very, very long time. And I feel like any time her name is in the news, a lot of Republicans are like, oh, what are they doing now? Or what's she doing now? Or what is that family up to? Caitlyn Jenner's been a Republican for a very long time. So that always kind of surprised me. But the transgender movement has a lot more support amongst Democrats and on the left. So this election is very, very interesting. If Caitlyn Jenner does run, which she has announced in the paperwork she will be running, if she wins the primary of Jenner versus Newsom, I wonder if that transgender support in California will actually turn into votes. Because that would be very, very interesting to see how this election is going to go. This governor's race, despite it being a recall election, I really didn't see this governor's race being too, too competitive, honestly. But if Caitlyn Jenner is the nominee, I don't know. I mean... Caitlyn Jenner will probably get a lot of Republican support in California of just President Trump voters who want Gavin Newsom out, but a lot of people, when they show up to vote, they might just see Caitlyn Jenner's name and be like, I know who that is, I'm going to vote for her, and that is a very lasting effect on a lot of politicians in a lot of races. It's very possible Caitlyn Jenner could win. However, slowing the brakes a little bit, the only issue is Caitlyn Jenner has announced she'll be running as a Republican. She is a Republican, as I mentioned. And in 2020, Joe Biden defeated Donald Trump 63.5% and 34.3% in the state of California. Now, there's no doubt in my mind this race will be much closer than this. However, it is important to note that Joe Biden did win by about 30% in California. So, if Caitlyn Jenner is going to win, she's going to have to do a lot better in places like LA, San Diego, San Jose, a lot of the big population centers which are Democratic voting. But if Caitlyn Jenner can do better in those, for instance, LA, 71-27 for Biden over Trump. If that's like 60-40, like this is a much closer race. And Caitlyn Jenner actually has a shot at winning. But It'll be, it remains to be seen if Caitlyn Jenner, A, will win the primary, which I expect she will, to be completely honest with you. I think she has the biggest name recognition. I think she would win. Also, 
if that support on social media translates into votes. If it does, California 2022 is shaping up to be a very, very interesting election. So that's going to do it for today's video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Main headline of the video, Caitlyn Jenner is running for governor and things are about to get fun in California. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, tap the bell icon to get notified when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.